Okay, so here's the uh, Armour 3 Bolter. I really like the, the design of the Bolter. You can see I've also uh, already painted here the, the metals and the blue parts on the back side. Um, here we still need to do the metals. I just wanted to show you how I do that. I really like the, the design of that Bolter. So, um, yeah, we will go for a slightly different color scheme than the, the normal one. So we will have um, the blank metal parts and some black parts. Um, as the arm will be positioned somewhat like that. See that on the back, I've also painted the highlights just on that very top. So we will go for the same direction with the light, also for the black parts. So... I will mix a very dark gray. Um, it should look almost black, um, but uh, it, when you're painting uh, a transition from black to gray, you it's kind of, kind of hard to get that last step out of the blending. So it's good to start actually with a very dark gray. dry right and I think that part here is quite nice to to show you also a tiny bit of a loaded brush so that means we load up the brush with our base color the dark gray in the back and put just a tiny bit of white to the tip of the brush might have been even a little bit too much so I'm wiping that off my finger and then I'm trying to Place the white here in the, in the front and pull it back between the brush and further away. Okay, yeah, that is already quite a good start, but we want to get it a bit cleaner. Okay, and just a bit of the thin base color to blend it here. Okay, and the light gray to get these edges here. Bit of black here around the small rivets. As this here is quite bright now, I think I would like to get a little bit of the lighter gray also up here um, to make those two uh, halves of the shell not look too separated. At the moment, the contrast still looks quite strong for, uh, for just a black piece of armor. But remember, uh, contrast is always a question of uh, also the, the surrounding colors. And um, if we have the metals in place, that will uh, just look a whole lot different. Okay, we will, um, I think just now to get a better feeling, we will uh, put the metal colors in place to see how 
uh, how it looks and if it needs some adjustment in the end. Mm, we will start again with the dark metal tone and paint all the uh, silver metal parts in that dark metal tone using the lead belcher uh, metal color from Games Workshop. Some of that diagonal scale green and a bit of black. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, or actually quite often before, it's always uh, nice to to work as neat as possible. Um, also with the with the base color, because that way you can just uh, save you quite a bit of time when it comes to all that dark line. Because if you just keep a little dark line, that's just one step less to do afterwards. Okay, and uh, now straight on for, uh, with some highlights. Note that I'm just having the highlight color again on the on the very tip of the brush, and water in the back of the brush, so I can just dilute it directly on the surface. Putting down the highlight color, wiping off the extra paint and. Pulling it a bit over the surface. So I have a little gap in there. Yeah, nice and super shiny edge. And you see the the contrast on the black is already looking only half as strong. Here also just in the middle. And uh, remember that the, the the gun will be placed like the water will be placed like this. So also the highlight here on the that edge needs to be quite strong. It already looks quite nice and shiny. There's just one tiny thing that I would like to, to adjust right now. It's, you can see that a little bit of um, chrome color in the recess here. Yep. Okay, let's see what the other side of that matches. And the brightness of the metal, and yeah, I think it looks really nice. Um, just here on the, just here on the upper side of the bottom, I also need some highlights. And just a bit of white here. Also that last upper edge here. A 
bit of white and black. Add a bit of black down here to increase the uh, contrast and to make it look black in the end. All right, so um, yeah, I would say I've finished the other side of the border up then, and yeah, what a nice and mean looking border. All right, thank you. Awesome.